Romania. Oh, what a country. A country that may be one of my favorite names for a country. Reminding me of that old world that the Romans once built. A place of beauty and greatness. And oh yes, today we're going to be definitely talking about Romania. What's up guys? Welcome to FTD Facts. My name is Dave Wapple. Welcome more specifically to our Monday episodes where every single Monday we look at a new country. And I got a cool playlist if you guys are interested in that sort of thing that I'll show you at the end of the video. But for me, yeah, we're going to talk about Romania because from what I've learned, you know, I've run into a few Romanians in the past and I gotta say, they're pretty crazy crazy in a good way i know when sometimes people hear the word crazy they're like wait what i'm not nuts i mean like crazy as in fun and loving but with that i hope you guys are all having a fantastic day and before i start this episode i just want to know what is the best place that you've ever traveled to let me know down there in the comment section below and let me know what you did there and why while well, why it was your favorite place in the first place if I say place one more time. So Romania, what is great about it? What is unique about it? What can we learn about this amazing nation? Well, let's find out. Looking at the great old world map. Now it is big. And if we get a little bit closer, we zoom into this good place called Europe. And right here is where Romania is located. And there is a little bit of a debate of where Romania is actually located. There are people out there that say, yes, Romania is in Central Europe. There are people that say, no, it's more in Eastern Europe. And some people are like, no, we're in Southeastern Europe. Depending on how you view Europe, well, I mean, for me, it doesn't really matter. It is in Europe, and that's the only thing that matters. As a matter of fact, I really just get confused you know, as a whole. I mean, Europe and Asia are just one kind of like continent sort of thing. I mean, like they're connected via land. Doesn't really make much of a difference to me. Because, I mean, like if you look at the Americas, like, you know, Canada and Mexico and, you know, America, of course, there, it's all called the Americas. That's why for me as a Canadian, I actually get really irked when people call me an American, but I actually forget the fact that they are referring to the fact that I am from the Americas. Truth be told. Okay, that's a little bit of a side note. Let's get back into Romania. Sorry, I talked about myself here. But zooming in a little bit further, we can see that Romania snuggles easily against the countries of Bulgaria, Serbia, Hungary, Moldova, and Ukraine, coming in with a total of five different borders. And as a matter of fact, to the east of it, it's got the Black Sea, which it approximately has about 225 kilometers of shoreline. However, that is based off the World Factbook, and it ranks in at 122nd of all countries in the world when it comes to shoreline. However, zooming in even further, we look at the country, and it's got about 238,397 kilometers of land within it. It also is a country that doesn't have any land outside of its initial borders. What it has in Europe and where it's located, that's all it owns. This also makes Romania the 81st largest country in the world. However, it is classified as the largest in Southeastern Europe, but the 12th largest in all of Europe. So there you go. There's your Southeast Europe and your all of Europe categories. And within the borders of this country, there's not just land, but there is also people and population, and they've got quite an impressive amount. As a matter of fact, the people within this country are called Romanians. Which actually makes me wonder, how did the country get the name Romania in the first place? Let's take a look. The word Romania stems from the word Romanus, which means citizen of Rome. Now, back in the day, the people of Romania weren't called Romans. They were actually called the Getty people by the Greeks, or by the Romans, they were referred to as the Dacians. Now, there's a lot of different theories, and there's a lot of different opinions of how Romania got its name, but let's be perfectly honest, back in the day, the Dacians weren't really liked by the Romans, and I'll explain why. It was more or less that the land that they had was something Rome wanted. The general agreement of how Romania earned its name dates back to 101 AD, when Roman Emperor Trajan sent his forces into what was known back then as Dacia. Along with this conflict, there was another one that followed shortly after. Now, the reason for Rome's invasion was because Rome was simply running short of gold supply. And Romania, or back then Dacia, was rumored to have lots of it. Roman forces then ended up taking the area, occupying it, and began mining the gold for the Roman Empire. 
However, back to population within this plucky little nation, there is about 19,518,117 people. Now that is just a rough kind of estimation for 2019, keep that in mind. Yeah, of course, you know, you can't really get an accurate detail, but that's as close as they get. This also makes the country rank 59th in the world when it comes to population. A proper census has not been done since about 2011, in which at the time, there was approximately 20 million people within the country. The peak population for Romania was around 1990 to 1991, in which the population was a little under 23 million people. Now, you might be thinking to yourself, well, this is a, a country that has a decreasing population. And unlike other countries which we've talked about in the past, such as Belarus, which is a declining population, not just because of death rate and birth rate being not really on par, but also within that country, people are leaving for work opportunities. That's not really happening in Romania. It's more or less the death rate. Also diving within people, the major ethnic group is obviously Romanians. You also have some minor ethnic backgrounds such as Hungarian, Roma, Ukrainian, German, Albanian, Russian, Turkish, Serbian, Slovak, Arab, and African. Of all these people, when it comes to languages, however, over 90% of the people have reported to speak Romanian. Which, for me, I found it really fascinating because I've heard that Romanian is a really, really old language. As a matter of fact, they say it's over 1700 years old. Fascinating. However, this is because it is based off of a Latin language which falls under what you would call romance languages. That's probably why everybody in Romania just has that, it's just such an attractive accent. I love it. Now, okay, all right, let's talk about this. Ooh, I hope you guys like that. However, with that, when it comes to the actual amount of religion in the country, they say 81% of the people identify as Christian. More so Orthodox Christianity, but you also have Protestants and, of course, Catholics and other people who identify as other religions, maybe even Islamic. No, I will say this right now, Romania does not have a state religion, which to me is a good thing. Okay, so we're going to get off the stats now and we're going to look at some really cool facts about the country. First of all, within the country, have you ever heard of the Cave of Bones? Yeah, I know, it sounds scary. This one is absolutely insane. So it's a cave system with about approximately 12 caverns inside. It's located near Anina, which is on the southwest side of Romania. And within this cave, they've discovered some of the oldest human remains in all of Europe. For example, one of the most important remains that they found in 2015 was a skull known simply as OASE-1. Ois one, I don't know if I'm pronouncing it wrong, I probably am. Not only was this skull and the rest of the remains considered the oldest human remains found in all of Europe, but they discovered that it had 5 to 11% of Neanderthal DNA. So there you go guys, believe it or not, it's helping prove evolution. It's probably another good reason why the state is not run by, you know, religion. It's a good thing. Also, jumping into a little bit more of modern day history, although this is not really modern, 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 like, you know, you and I within probably our timeline, but more specifically World War I. Most of us generally during World War I think of the good guys being Britain, Russia, and France fighting against Germany, Austria, and of course the Ottomans of the time. You might be surprised to know that Romania was actually on the side of the Allies fighting with the British and the Americans, who did show up late, but they also contributed quite heavily towards the war front. During World War I, Romania also took back the lands of Transylvania, in which the West agreed to the terms during the Treaty of Trianon. And yes, Romania was a major founding member of the... League of Nations, that's what I was going to say. I just forgot what it was called. I wanted to say the Treaty of Versailles, but that's not it. Okay, considering I'm talking about Transylvania, I'm just going to get this out of this video here. Uh, first of all, I'm a huge folklore sort of fan, but let's be perfectly honest, okay? This is one thing that Romania and Transylvania is most famous for, at least in the Western world, and that is vampires. And yes, within Transylvania, there are no vampires and there is no Frankenstein monster. All right, side note, did you know that Romania is home to the world's heaviest building? This one I found absolutely amazing. It is heavy. 
Known as the Palace of Parliament in Bucharest, this is a big one. The thing actually took forever to build. As a matter of fact, it started back in 1984 and it didn't finish until 1997. What's more insane is it took over 700 architects to build and they were all led by a woman named Anka Petriscu, who has the title of working on the second or first largest civilian administrative building in the world. Partially because this is a really debated topic, I've heard this building is the number one in this category, but I've also heard it's number two. It's also considered the world's most expensive administrative building ever built, coming in at approximately 3 billion euros. It also has approximately 1,100 rooms and has the size of 2,550,000 cubic meters. That is a big palace. Huge. And if you're wondering how much it weighs, it comes in at approximately 4,098,500,000 kilograms. And it's heavy, and nothing in the world even comes close. It's big. Unfortunately, this building does not classify as a World UNESCO Heritage Site, but if they keep this building, well, around for long enough, it might actually get that title at some point in history. And speaking of which, you can rest assured the country of Romania is very good at preserving its culture because it's got a fair amount of UNESCO World Heritage Sites. Currently, right now, it has 8 of them with approximately 15 on the tentative list. Theoretically though, you could say there are more than 8 of them because 2 of them have a lot of individual structures within those categories. What I mean is one category is the villages with fortified churches within Transylvania. There is approximately seven of these churches within that category. And there's also the wooden churches of Maramures, which has eight within that category alone. Which to me is something I just really like. I mean, it just goes to show that Romania is a country that is all about preserving its culture and, you know, its history, which I think is very much important. However, guys, that has been me looking at some of the basic facts of Romania. I know I missed a lot. So if I missed a lot of facts, maybe you're from Romania, be sure to let me know down there in the comment section below because generally we like to do part twos. And that reminds me, if you guys like this video and you want a part two, hit that like button because then I know to do more. I could go through reading all the comments if I want, but like buttons really help out. And with that in mind, just keep in mind in the description box below, I might have done a part two sometime in the future. So at the time of recording this video, I did not. So if it's there, it's in the description box below or it'll be at the end of the video. But thanks for watching. Before you guys get out of here, I want you guys to look at this playlist right here. It'll also be at the end. Favorite this playlist because every single Monday, we're always learning about a new country from around the world here on FTD Facts. I love learning about new places and I know you guys will love it too. Thanks for watching. I'll see you guys in the next one. Okay, bye. Okay, by the way, so if you haven't done it yet, hit the bell notification, the subscribe button and all that jazz. But yeah, here's that playlist that I was telling you about. And yeah, once again, if I've done a part two, well, there will be the Romania playlist here where you can learn more about Romania. So if it's not there, then we haven't done a part two just as of yet. But thanks for watching. We'll see you in the next one. Bye.